Assalamu alaikum, my dear viewers. Allah Almighty grant each one of us hayat and tayyibah, the best in terms of deen, the best in terms of dunya. Allah Almighty allow us to remain steadfast and keep our iman and yaqeen strong and mighty. In this short video, I am going to share a gift with you. And uh, I urge my noble viewers not only to listen to the video but isma'u bi niyatil amal listen to the video with the intention of practice the best medicine if it is not consumed you will not benefit the best medicine but if there is a substandard medicine but you consume it you've got a chance of some level of recovery. The gift that I'm going to share with you is the best. It is from the hidden treasures of Allah Almighty. So please listen to what I am going to say with the intention that I'm going to practice. And you will find that there is great benefit for you in this. As a reference, I would like you to remember the reference Surat Dukhan. Dukhan means smoke. And this is the 44th Surah of the Glorious Quran. This Surah consists of 59 verses and 3 Rukus, sections. Now there will be many viewers that are listening that will not know this Surah off by heart. They can make the intention that in future to come they will learn this Surah off by heart. But those that know this surah of by heart, they can make the intention that they will learn the meaning of this surah. And then both parties, those that know it of by heart, and those that do not know it of by heart, they can make the firm intention that they're going to practice the message of Surah Dukha. Subhanallah. Now, what is the reward of reciting this surah? When should this surah be recited so we can maximize the reward? So I'm going to make mention of the first hadith. This hadith is from Tirmazi and it is recorded by Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an in which Nabi Kareem Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Man qara'a hameen dukhan fi laylatin asbaha يَسْتَغْفِرُ لَهُ سَبْعُونَ أَلْفَ مَلَكَ أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام That a person who recites Surah Dukhan once in the night, there will be 70,000 angels that will make istighfar for him until the crack of dawn, until morning. Now as we know that right now one of the greatest duties that we need to perform collectively is istighfar. We need to ask Allah Almighty in abundance, collectively, to forgive us. Now think about it, if there are 70,000 angels sitting and they are asking Allah Almighty to forgive you, you've got a great chance to be forgiven. And if a person is forgiven, what greater reward that he, does he want? So it is one of the bounties of reciting this surah after Maghrib. So in the night time. So after Maghrib, you can recite it. After Isha, you can recite it. Or you can recite before going to sleep. But do not sleep without the recital of this surah. What is the reward? The first reward? 70,000 angels will make istighfar for you. The second reward of this surah. Now this reward has been recorded by Imam Tirmazi once again on the authority of the same Rawi, narrator, Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an. Man qara'a hameen dukhan fi laylatil jumu'a ghufira lah. A person who recites Surah Dukhan, Surah number 45, Friday night. And night starts from Maghrib before you go to sleep. So a person who recites Surah Dukhan, Friday night, Allah pardons him. So a person will be forgiven. 
The third gift, and this has been mentioned by one of the great commentators of the Quran, and his commentary is known as Tafsir Mabhari, on the authority of Abu Umama radiallahu ta'ala an, a person who recites Surah Dukhan Friday night or any time Friday. He recites it once. Allah Almighty will construct a house for him in Jannah. So the Friday coming, this immediate Friday, or the Fridays that will come, Adorn your Friday nights or the day with the recital of Surah Dukhan so you can be blessed with the reward. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.